Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice square root problem? From here, let's square both sides. And what is given square root of 12 plus inside that we have square root of 12 plus x then equals to x here. We square this side and also we square this side. And the square here we cancel the square roots and this becomes 12 plus square root of 12 plus x now equals to x square now from here let's use a letter to represent 12 so let y be equals to 12 then what we have here now becomes y plus square root of y plus x then equals to x square then here let's take y to this side then what we have left here is square root of y plus x now equals to x square then minus y then next to get rid of this square root we square both sides then we have square root of y plus x all square then equals to x minus y all square then from what we have here the square here cancel square root then this is left with y plus x which is now equal to here the expansion here become x raised to power 4 then minus 2x square y then plus y square then we can bring everything to one side then rearrange in terms of y so the leading variable here y so that will be y square then minus 2x square y leaving this on this side and taking this you know to the other side so y comes there become minus y then we have plus x raised to power 4 then minus x then equals to 0 from here that is what we have here now we can arrange it here y is common then we have y square minus here minus is common as well so minus out we have 2x square then plus let's take y out then y out as well then plus here we have x raised to power 4 minus x equals to 0 from here now what we have here we follow the pattern of a quadratic equation that is when we have y square plus that is a y square plus b y plus c equals to zero in time of y here in this case when we compare the coefficient a is equals to one and b in this case the same thing as minus into bracket two x square plus one and c here the same thing as x raised to power four minus x now when we compare and we use the quadratic formula which is y equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and from here solving this we are going to have y equals to minus b and then this is b so minus we cancel this minus we come plus so that will be plus 2x square plus 1 then plus or minus square root of b square also we have minus into bracket 2x square plus 1 then all square 
on here v square we change this minus to plus as well then we have minus 4a is 1 then c is x raised to power 4 minus x then close bracket all divided by 2a that's 2 times 1 and when we simplify this from here this becomes y equals to 2x squared plus 1 then plus or minus square root of here minus square is plus then when we square this from here 2x squared becomes 4x raised to power 4 then plus 2 times x squared times 1 that we have 4x squared then plus 1 squared is 3 1 then here minus open bracket we have minus 4 x raised to power 4 then plus 4 x okay then all divided by 2 now from here the square root here we have 4 x raised to power 4 minus 4 x raised to power 4 this we cancel each other then what we have left in our be y equals to 2x squared plus 1 then plus or minus square root of 4x squared then plus 4x plus 1 then all over 2 from here and what we have inside this bracket is the same thing as 2 times that is, we can rewrite the bracket A as 2x all square, then plus 2 times 2x, then plus 1 square, which is simply 2x plus 1 all square. So here we can now say this is y now equals to 2x square plus 1 plus or minus here we now have square root of instead of writing this we write this we now have 2x plus 1 all square then all over 2 now from here the square here we cancel the square root and this becomes y equals to 2x square plus 1 then plus or minus into bracket 2x plus 1 then over 2 that is from here we have two possible cases of y so the first we have y equals to 2x squared plus 1 then plus here will be 2x plus 1 over 2 or we have y equals to 2x squared plus 1 then minus we open this bracket we got minus 2x minus 1 then over 2 that is now when we solve this we have y equals to 2x squared plus 2x we arrange then 1 plus 1 that's 2 then over 2 and from here as well 2 is common so we have y equals to 2 into bracket x squared plus x plus 1 over 2 and these two cancel each other so we have here y equals to x squared plus x plus 1 let this be y1 then on this side as well we solve then we have y equals to so y equals to 2x squared minus 2x from here minus plus 1 minus 1 that's cancel then over 2 and here y equals to 2 is common so that's 2 into bracket x squared minus x then over 2 here 2 also cancel each other so we have y equals to x squared minus x we write this as y2 Recall that we represented y as 12 from the beginning. Then when we substitute y to be 12, then this gives us x squared plus 
x plus 1 equals to 12. And bring it 12 here, this gives us f square plus x plus 1 minus 12. Now equals to 0 from here. That is, here we have x square plus x minus 11 equals to 0 from here. That is, here, using the formula x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Here, this becomes x equals to b is 1, so we have minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 11 then over 2 times 1 and from here this we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 44 then over 2 which gives us x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 45 over 2. And here root 45, we can write it as root 9 times 5, which we can separate as root 9 times root 5, which is same thing as 3 root 5. So root 45 here can be written as 3 root 5 and here we now have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus 3 root 5 over 2. So here we have two solutions here. So the first one is minus 1 plus 3 root 5 over 2 and the second minus 1 minus 3 root 5 over 2. Now from here, in the second case here, we can also solve and equate this to 12. It's y equals to 12. Now we have x squared minus x now equals to 12. And that means here we have x squared minus x minus 12 equals to 0 from here. Then here we can factorize this. And this will be x squared minus 4x plus 3x minus 12 equals to 0. That is, the product of this is minus 12 and the sum is minus 1. So here we have the 2 we factor it. We have x into bracket x minus 4 then plus 3 comma here is also x minus 4 equals to 0 which implies x minus 4 into bracket x plus 3 equals to 0 and from here we have x minus 4 equals to 0 or we have x plus 3 equals to 0 that is x here equals to 4 or x equals to minus 3 so from what we have here we have x be equals to 4 and x to be equal to minus 3. So here we check from what is given here which is square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus x equals to x for x equals to minus 3 here when we substitute minus 3 here with the left hand side is equal to right hand side. Here we have square root of 12 plus square root of 12 minus 3. That's plus minus 3. So this equals to minus 3. And from here, this here we have 12 minus 3. That's 9. So we have square root of 12 plus square root of 9. Is equals to minus 3. And square root of 9 there is 3. So we have square root of 12 plus 3 is equals to minus 3. And here we have square root of here. This is 15. This is not equals to minus 3. So f equals to minus 3 here is not a solution. Then when we check x equals to 4. 
substitute x equals to 4 from what we have, then what we have becomes square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus 4, we get the equals to 4. That is, from here, this will be square root of 12 plus square root of, this is 16 here, is equals to 4, and root 16 is 4, so we have root 12 plus 4 now, is equals to 4, and root 12 plus 4 here is also root 16, is equals to 4. Then, from here we have root 16 as 4, which is equals to 4, so x equals to 4. On both sides, here we have x equals to 4 to satisfy this given problem. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to step. subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, share this video, give it a thumbs up, and see you in the next class. Bye for now.